I always wanted to be best at everything I was doing. When I got my first film, Rabne Banadi Jodi, um, opposite Shah Rukh Khan, to be produced by Yash Raj Films, directed by Aditya Chopra. I honestly didn't realize what a big deal it was at the time. Um, frankly, I did not even know uh, who Aditya Chopra was, or what it felt, or what it would be, or mean uh, to be his heroine. That's how clueless I was. I chose acting purely on the basis of sheer instincts. I did not know anyone, not a soul, who uh, worked in movies or had any connection uh, to the film industry. So I did what any outsider does. I worked to get my first break. I auditioned. And in one such audition, I got Rabne Banadi Jodi. Thank you, God. I think one doesn't know why things happen in their life. So I think it's always better to just uh, give the credit to luck, because uh, because you don't know. I mean, I mean, I, like I always say, you know, um, anybody else can be in my position. I'm never making claims to being the most talented or the most good looking or the most anything, you know. But the fact that I'm here, there has to be a reason for but it. But you know what I feel? I feel that honestly, because I didn't have any legacy to live up to or any sense of familiarity with how cinema works and whatsoever. Um, I feel like it, it, it gave me a kind of determination and confidence that has definitely helped me uh, to be here and has enabled my journey so far in the movies. I believe in very basic things in life. Uh -huh. like, I believe in, uh, like I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm kind of, everything should happen at the right time in life and okay. you know, okay. um, I'm not someone who, I mean of course I'm very, very, I'm very ambitious and I'm very career driven. I guess it's like the right balance. You know, it's very easy to tell somebody this is good, that is good, that is good to so so you know you must do this. But I think what is very important, what has always worked for me, is right from the beginning, like my first film. At that time also, Anupama, I knew what I don't want to do. So it's very important to do that. Even when I'm making a character, like I'm developing a character, I am like this is what she will not do. I, I feel like this is important for me because as a person, I'm very simple. And I feel like I have kind of uh, prioritized my life in a way that I know that these, these, these things are important. So I think anything else doesn't fall into my scheme of things. So for me, spending time at home, being with myself, I think these are very, very important things, you know. Because um, I always say this, like for me, I treat my career, my like my work here, I treat it as a job, you know. So I don't get emotionally attached to people from here. I started to see the way in which you know people shift and they change and people just treat you on the basis of your success. Everyone, not just, you know, you can't say of oh, the industry, everybody, like the media. It was a period after my first film, you know, mm -hmm. after Rabne released and mm -hmm. I wasn't like an overnight star with that film, mm -hmm. you know, as what Although that film was a huge, huge film. hit. Yes. Exactly, but like I wasn't, people yeah. appreciated my work and all of that. It said good things. Maybe because there was Shah Rukh Khan in it, so. Yeah, maybe because of Shah Rukh Khan mm -hmm. in it. But I didn't like turn into mm -hmm. an overnight, overnight star. Overnight star, know, very true. One to very watch true. out for and mm -hmm. I wasn't getting all the debutant awards and all of that. <laughs> so I feel like it was kind of like a lull for me, you know. Mm -hmm. And it took some time for me to sign my second film. Mm -hmm. And in that period, I actually saw the way things were. Which I, which I didn't know, obviously I thought this was normal. But it's after Band Baja Barat that I saw people suddenly change. You know, like suddenly people were like wanting to talk to me, wanting to invite me to their parties and all of that. And I was getting swayed in the beginning. You know, I was like, wow, I'm like, I'm, how cool am I? Look at me. And then I realized that, okay, why is this happening? Like, why is this suddenly happening? So it was self analysis or somebody brought you to. No, self analysis. Okay. So I realized that, okay, this is the way this place is. And it's very good to have that equation with everybody, you know. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like I'm. I'm a more professional person because of that, because of this mindset. Because I don't emotionally attach myself with mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. I believe in doing my job mm -hmm. and that's it. And I don't expect anyone to do anything more than that for me also. The way I am as a person, I believe that you, when you detach yourself from people and somebody, I think mm -hmm. you are of more service to them than right. you would be if you're attached. Because attachment exactly. is actually very selfish. Exactly. Attachment exactly. is a very selfish yeah. thing. You want something, that's why you're attached to it. I just feel like accept your flaws, accept your mistakes, make mistakes. It's perfectly normal. You can't play it safe. I come from a middle class family. In my entire life, all that my parents have ever tried to do is just be safe. Right? That's what happens in middle class families, right? Like be safe, like yeah, ho jai, bas ye safe ho jai, wo safe ho jai, because that's what we Security. Learn. I mean, security. I mean, you know, we have to play my parents were talking about loans on the on the dining table. So we're about safety, safety, safety. So I feel like maybe when I got that chance to be my own person, I realized that no, I don't want to be safe. I want to take risks and I want to do things and I want to, like I said, back myself. So I just feel like accept yourself completely 
and don't try to be this perfect uh, person this right person this correct person nobody is right nobody is correct trust me the biggest stars that you all love nobody is absolutely right and everyone's making mistakes and it's completely normal you know so accept that and, and accept that so that they are all actually the same just doing different things exactly exactly the bloody same